Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Figure Fantasy. So we have here Dead Master um, once again. Um, this is more or less a review, a further review, and because I've done uh, play, play testing more now that I've equipped her with gear. Review, uh, recommended gear, gameplay style, and all of the things that we should discuss about her. So starting off, we'll try to take a look at her skills first. So for her attack, it's called Fatal Assault. Range is one slot. Attacks an enemy starts from the first enemy in the same line. Attack speed is ready fast. So upgrade effects. So both level 2 and 3 will give you 25 each. So bonus da boost the damage from basic attacks by 25 times two that would be 50 percent okay so next would be her ultimate eyes of death attacks the current target and ignores part of their defense and if the target's health is above 40 percent the attack is guaranteed crit neat right so she's another um figure that has a guaranteed crit, crit mechanic built into her kit upgrade effect is a level two after unleashing her ultimate she goes berserk after seven seconds which makes all her attacks penetrate level three while berserk her basic attacks have a 60 percent chance to trigger dead wings effect when they crit okay so take note this is still you know grayed out because i haven't finished her design letter yet um too many resources that is needed moving on to her Passive. We have Deadwing. After unleashing her ultimate, Deadwing slices the target, dealing damage with life steal. So take note, guys. Her her life steal is triggered by her passive. Once it is triggered by her ultimate. Okay. So basically, she's a sitting duck. Um, after she triggers this, she doesn't have any li any any life steal. You know, means aside from her passive with her ultimate also has a 50 percent chance to trigger after any ally unleashes their ultimate okay upgrade effect increase the chance of triggering dead wing after an ally unleashes her ultimate to 75 percent level three is boost the damage of the next dead wing by 30 percent each time the target takes damage from dead wing this effect can stack up to four times okay and the next one and the last one is her special so boost dodge chance by 15 percent and restores health after each successful dodge okay and um upgrade effect is going to be boost attack by five percent and crit chance by ten percent and level three would boost uh dodge chance by twenty percent okay guys so moving on to the discussion on her strength and weakness her strength is basically her DPS, very high DPS with ignore um, defense and piercing. And um, her weakness is also survivability, same more or less as um, Empress. So for her parts, we will address that issue. Um, take note that her lifesteal built into her kit is triggered by her passive and assisted by her uh, ultimate. But... After that, she's vulnerable in the front. So you have to really equip her with a four-piece set of lifesteal. As you can see here, um, lifesteal is really necessary for her. She doesn't have lifesteal. Um, she's way too squishy up front. Tried it with a lot of you know combinations. She's too reliant on a healer if you don't have lifesteal as her four-piece set. Her 2P set would either be a defensive set or an HP set for more survivability, of course. So that is the discussion with her part. So again, I don't think the lifesteal set is negotiable. You'll have to go with this unless if you want to risk it, be my guest. But based on what I playtested, I don't think she is going to live that much without lifesteal set. So as for her badge... We have here the Eternal Nightmare Badge, which is my preference. My only preference, actually, for her. 
this will give her will complement her lifesteal set to boost attack speed by 10 basic attacks have a 21 percent chance to bounce lighting off four times each time dealing damage equal to 10 percent of attack and you say why don't she already has a fast attack so the 10 percent would really give her a more faster attack so that's basically what i'm saying for her to survive okay so let's explore um her other um unique unique gear first and foremost her adornment so this one requires a purchase obviously so uh right off the bat i'm telling you guys i'm not i'm not um i'm not in favor of this for you to use or to get so Enhancer passive when casting dead wing boost dodge chance by 4%. It's a small percentage and all damage by 10. This effect lasts up to 5 seconds only and can be stacked up to 3 times. So very short effect for this for this adornment. I don't think you'll be needing this. And let's move on to her exclusive badge which is um, eternal unyielding badge so boost dead wings damage by five while not in berserk her basic attacks have a 20 percent chance to trigger dead wing when they crit um i think initially i recommended this badge but at this point um if you if you're not into spending that much i would not recommend this overall i think the other badge would be better for her so again both exclusive um badge and uh, adornment i'm not recommending it's also a additional spend so you just have to make do with what you have for her um i think the badge that we have for her the the end time uh nightmare badge is going to be sufficient enough that you won't need both. So this one. So you just have to build her right. Build her towards survivability. And I think she can be okay and good enough. As for her team composition. So I don't think she has a, sp a specific team um, to be built around her. She can go with any team. Uh, if you want really a recommendation, an extra healer um, would be good for her as a probably an extra layer of protection for her hp and that is it i don't i don't think she has a special use she just deals a lot of dps and you just have to make sure that she survives um any matchup that you have and guys finally my final thoughts for her there's nothing else i could say but she has great damage she just needs to survive to deal that damage and also just to be clear about that her damage dealing and her survivability is really built around her gear her parts and her badge is a big you know it's a big portion of her survivability so she is very she's very gear dependent um again as well as other high dps more or less their glass cannons and the only way i think that she can survive is additional lifesteal and increased more increased attack speed so that is it guys that is my final thoughts for dead master and what do you think of um the recommended gear and gameplay for dead master am i right please put them down in the comment section below okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far so take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here